Turning now to our ongoing coverage of the class of 2021 and what teachers and students are facing amid this pandemic. Right now, educators, along with the Arizona school superintendent, are all speaking out following Governor Ducey's State of the State address. Team 12's Michael Downa joins us now. And Michael, they're worried the governor may be ignoring the severity of the virus. From the teachers I spoke with, you could hear the frustration in their voice. And the state superintendent says the governor's speech well, it ignores the realities of the pandemic. Students have been kept out of their classrooms for long enough. In a state of the state done virtually because of the pandemic, Governor Doug Ducey seemed to push his preference for students to get back in the classroom. They've lost out on childhood experiences that can't be duplicated on a computer screen. But putting kids physically back in class right now, what well, would go against the recommendations laid out by Dr. Kara Chris this summer as the virus reaches record numbers? All that matters is that you're back in the classroom, that that's all that matters. The metrics don't matter. The numbers don't matter. Um, just get back. Teachers like Judy Adams and Katie Fizz expressed frustration at the message, and they weren't the only ones. Super in a statement, Superintendent Kathy Hoffman said the governor's speech, quote, ignored the reality of the worsening spread of COVID-19 and its severe impact on our schools. Now, almost everyone agrees that the classroom is the best place for kids to learn. But what's best for kids and society overall during a widespread pandemic is not as easy to answer. I did send, I did send my own children back into the classroom because where the metrics were, it was safe. I sent them back because of course students learn best in the classroom. But now that things have closed down, I think that you've got what's best for kids getting mixed up in a lot of public policy. Now, the governor also says he wants to link funding with where students are now. And with a lot of students going to homeschooling, that concerns some educators, well, about funding. We're in Phoenix, Michael Dalna, 12 News.